Hi, I'm Parish Gupta with the technical marketing team at Cisco Systems focusing on storage networking. In next few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate power on auto provisioning on Cisco MDS 9148S. The very first step is to download the sample support files which have been made available at the POP blog under storage networking section on supportforums.cisco.com. The sample files are POP script which is the brain house of the feature. A quick look on the POP script shows MD5 checksum which is used by the switch to verify integrity. Ensure to update the MD5 sum of the file after every change using the shown command. Specify the protocol that you want to use to communicate with the file server, IP address of the server along with the login credentials. The script offers multiple ways to specify config file name. In this demonstration, I am using switch serial number based approach. Device recipe file which enables device specific config and software images. A sample DHCP server config file on Linux. A server list file containing list of file repository servers. The whole POP process can be divided into two phases. First, preparation phase. Second, execution phase. Under preparation phase, set up a DHCP server which supports basic options listed under RFC 2132. In this demonstration, DHCP daemon running on Linux has been used. TFTP server name and boot file name are the most important options here along with a subnet, gateway and lease time. The feature can be made specific to MDS switches using a vendor class identifier substring as Cisco MDS TCL. Offer from DHCP server contains a TFTP server name and a boot file name. A TFTP server should be listening at this IP address containing the POAP script. Lastly, set up a SCP server where the configuration files and software images can be made available. The base directory should contain the software images and server list.cfg file. Each switch should have its own directory with the serial number as the name of the directory. Inside this directory, maintain the switch configuration in the format of conf underscore serial number dot cfg and a device recipe file. The device recipe file contains switch specific information like the kickstart and system images along with the exact configuration file name. The important note is software images present in the base directory should match with the name specified in the POP script and device recipe file. That is all about preparation phase. The execution phase starts with powering on the MDS 9148S without any startup config. You would need console access to watch the automatic provisioning in action. Notice that DHCP server has been detected and the options under DHCP offer are listed. The script gets downloaded and executed after verifying the MD5 checksum. A list of file and image servers is fetched and switch specific configuration and software images are copied. The configuration is applied and the switch is rebooted with the new software. Finally, the switch is ready for production. To summarize, prepare your management network with DHCP, TFTP and a SCP server which is a one-time effort. Once done, any new switch just needs to be powered up and plugged in to the management network to be part of your fabric. Thanks for your time today.